We're here at a packed Odeon Theater in Florence for the world premiere of the film When the World Answered, a documentary about female artists and the 1966 flood in Florence. The documentary is based on a book by Linda Falcone and Jane Fortune, published by the Florentine Press. It can be considered the sequel to the documentary and book Invisible Women, which premiered here in June of 2013 and won an Emmy Award. We're here with Linda Falcone, co-author of the book and director of the Advancing Women Artists Foundation. Linda, can you tell us a little bit about what the movie's about? Sure. Um, in 1966, after the flood in Florence, Carlo Luvi Coraghianti, who is an art historian, made a call and appeal to the international artistic community and many, many artists from all over the world responded to this call. And so what we did with this movie and with the book was to uh, investigate the women artists who donated their works and, and learn more about them, learn more about their works. And how is it that you're involved with these female artists? It's, how is that related to the Advancing Women Artists Foundation? Well, the Advancing Women Artists Foundation uh, researches, restores, and exhibits works of art by women in the Florence Museums. And it's the first time that we have done a project featuring contemporary women artists. They, several of these works were in storage in the museum deposits of the Florence Civic Museums. And so we began researching. We discovered that they existed in the storehouses, and then we sought out the artist and discovered that several were still living and we interviewed them and then um, made the movie and book. Jane and Linda are on a televised quest to uncover the dozens of paintings and sculptures by women languishing in storage at Florence's Civic Museums. It's a varied journey that takes viewers from the restoration laboratory of the Biblioteca Nazionale to the rooftops of the once devastated Santa Croce neighborhood. The film begins with heartbreaking images and first-hand accounts of the 1966 flood. It then takes a positive turn, focusing on the outpouring of love for and generosity towards the city in the wake of disaster. The film takes us into the studios and homes of some of the female artists who donated their works to Florence after a call for art was made by the city after the flood. Some of these works have been restored by the Advancing Women Artists Foundation and are now on display at the new Museo Novecento. I'm thrilled to be here with Jane Fortune, founder and chairman of Advancing Women Artists Foundation and co-author of the book. Now, last time we were here at the Odeon, you said, and these were your words, I'm over the moon. So how does it feel this time? Well, I'm over the moon again. Uh, actually, I'm so... Um humbled to be able to come back and show this documentary, uh, particularly as an American to have a documentary shown in this historic theater uh, probably means more than anyone can understand, That just, just to have that opportunity. We're so happy to be back here. What is next for the Advancing Women Artists Foundation? Well, as you know, um, I, we found 2,000 works of art that are in storage in the museums here. So we have restored 23 of those over the last six years. And so we're going to continue taking, uh, restoring those works of art as, as we can. After tonight's premiere in Florence, When the World Answered will hit the small screen in the States starting November 12th.